Hey Summers, welcome to Make 2 and Day 11 of the Sims Free Play Secret Winter Wonderland quest. This is the second to last day of this 12 day quest ending tomorrow, December 24th. We've been doing videos all along, so if you missed any of them and are still trying to catch up on tasks that you're maybe running a little bit late on, feel free to check those out. But otherwise, we are now in the final stretch and looking forward to seeing the ultimate prize, the gingerbread house, and finishing up tomorrow. So as we open the game on day 11, we see this poem. The hour draws nearer, the battle comes soon, will the Ice Queen have mercy or send Jack to his room? And today's prize will be a set of ice-themed bedroom furnishings for your Sims homes. And the first task is check on the Ice Queen. The Snow Sprites have been cooling the Ice Queen down for a while and her strength may have returned. Have a Sim check on her at the Ice Palace to see how she's doing. Okay, check for five minutes. Go to the park. Great news, the Ice Queen is much stronger. Given the dire consequences that inaction may bring, she has resolved to travel to Simtown to bring her son back herself. Have a sim. Head to the Simtown Park, and the Ice Queen will follow. Call to Jack. As your sim enters the park, they see Jack Frost in plain sight. He's thrown caution to the wind and is accelerating the freezing of Simtown. The sound of the whirlwind around him is deafening. Have a sim call out to Jack. Look at that. And she's just standing there doing nothing. Hey Jack for five minutes. Listen to the Ice Queen's plan. The Ice Queen calls out to Jack as well. Son, stop this at once, but her words fall on deaf ears. Jack can't hear through his tornado. The only way to stop him is to break through it. The Ice Queen has an idea. Have a sim listen to the Ice Queen's plan. Listen to plan for five minutes. Ask the Ice Queen to fire. The Ice Queen says she can disable Jack's tornado with her own magic. Just say the word and she'll begin building up her power. Have a sim ask the Ice Queen to fire away. You know what? Like, why isn't she just deciding to do these things on her own? Ah, oh, there we go. S something, finally. I mean, this is kind of freaky looking. I think my theory from the last video about whether she had actually kidnapped this poor little child to be, you know, the person that keeps her castle frozen and all of that stuff, because, I mean, she seems like she's not all that useful in a crisis, and he's the one with all the proper power, and it just looks like she might be, you know, siphoning his power and using it for her own evil means. Build power with the queen at the park. The Ice Queen's strong magic blast was aimed perfectly, but didn't penetrate the whirlwind. It needed more energy. <sighs> she asks your sim to stand in position and build power. They can stop Jack if they work together. Have a sim help the queen. X marks the spot. Build power with queen for 12 hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure that Ron really knows what he's getting himself into with this lady. Ask Jack what he is doing. Boom! Together with your sim, the Ice Queen fires a blast of magic at the tornado that destroys it. Shocked, Jack looks at her. Mom? He says, then turns to your sim. My mom can't be here. Have a sim ask Jack what he is doing. What are you doing? For five minutes. Tell the queen about Jack. Jack looks disappointed and begins to explain. He was freezing Simtown for his mother's birthday so she could visit safely, but he failed. Have a sim tell the Ice Queen about Jack's plan. Tell Jack's story for 9 hours and 15 minutes. I don't believe it. You know, he might have just been deciding to 
be nice about this crazy lady because he knew she was standing right there watching. Admire the moment. The Ice Queen is touched and approaches her son. You didn't fail, she says, and kisses his forehead. It's still cold enough to enjoy Simtown together. Mm, nah. Have a Sim admire this special moment between the two of them. I think Ron has been duped. Admire the moment for 15 minutes. I am totally suspicious. I bet this Ice Queen, in fact, is in league with Wumples. She's just looking evil like that. This poor child. I feel sorry for him, not for her. Alright, congratulations. You've reunited the Ice Queen and Jack, but the fun is not over yet. You've received a set of ice-themed bedroom furnishings for your Sims homes. Find them in the home store. You've received a bribe, basically. <laughs> Alright, so as usual, we've got to wait for the next day, and of course the prize tomorrow will be this gingerbread house. And let's go see what we got in terms of guilty presence. Mm-hmm. Under the Featured tab, as usual, here we go. Icy bed number one, a single, and a double, and an icy bed table. Hopefully we can put stuff on it unlike the countertops and dining table. Yes, perfect. And there we go. This is what being in league with evil ice queens buys. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of day 11 of the quest. Please feel free to let us know in the comments what you think, and if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way, including the end of this quest tomorrow. Thanks for watching.